da 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 Hi guys, Jack here, and I'm here with another video to tell you about other confusing grammar. I'm talking about but and however. But is used to show complete difference. Things that are not the same. And to express that, X is not Y. For example, there is an important sports match on TV tonight, but I can't watch it. Using a but does more than just flatly contradict or say the opposite. It's also used to express, you know, every, it, all of this is true except for this. Actually, we sometimes see this with compliments. Some people will use but with a compliment because they will say something that is nice and then take away a little bit. For example, you look lovely in that dress, but blue isn't your best color. That's so mean. I think she looks nice in blue. Don't use but like that. Another one is uh, if you are complimenting on someone's hair is, uh, oh, um, those those highlights and streaks in your hair look great, but I think your hairstylist missed a spot. Oh, oh, that's so rude. However, is used to introduce other information that is against the first information. So let me give you uh, the structure. X, however, Y is against X. So let me use, so let me use uh, my earlier example. There is an important sports match on TV. However, I don't have a TV. I have other ways to watch the sports match. I can watch it on the internet. I could go to a sports bar. Or I could call my friend uh, and see if they they have the game on their TV. But I don't want to do that because he doesn't usually have any food in his house or any snacks. Using however is kind of like saying, yeah, on the other hand, for example, uh, at the party, everyone will be wearing what they wore earlier. However, because you've caught a cold, you might want to bring an extra sweater or a jacket. And then there's American English. This is an actual really true example of how however is used incorrectly. In Wikipedia's biography of the famous photographer uh, Robert Maplethorpe, it's written, Maplethorpe became something of a cause célèbre for both sides of the American culture war. However, prices for many of the Maplethorpe photographs doubled and even tripled as a consequence of all the attention. Here is the error. The use of however is used incorrectly it should be used to show that the first statement, you know, the first statement that um, he was something that, uh, of a very celebrated artist in, in, uh, in a, an American, in the American art society. But it, it's so, it should be so much so that it is negative that he wouldn't be able to sell his photographs. So using however to show that he, he should have been so popular, but, but he wasn't. So he couldn't sell very many photographs. That isn't what the statement says. The statement says, oh my gosh, he was so popular and he sold a lot of his photographs. In fact, 
his photographs sometimes went double or triple the price we wouldn't use, however. <laughs> Actually, I could I could say this. Um, uh, it, the use of however here, however, doesn't make any sense because it's used in a way that there's two positive things about the famous photographer, Robert Maplethorpe. That's a that's a grammar joke. <laughs>so there you go but and however however is sometimes used wrong and i gave you a real use a real example of how it's used wrong in everyday native english <laughs>